Hello everyone, this is Aman. Welcome to my channel Techmia. So guys, in this session, we're gonna see a drill through using navigation action. Okay. So in the in my previous video, I have shown you how to uh, create a drill through using URL action. But in this video, we're gonna see using navigation action. So guys, I'll use a data set provided by uh, QuickSight. So people overview. Visualize, I'll visualize it. Mm. And guys, like uh, this is a request if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and like the videos if you really like it. And if you have any suggestions, then please let me know in the comment section. Uh, I'll work on that, okay? So, uh, yeah, uh, the data set has been loaded so i'll create one visual uh, i'll choose pivot table my favorite one okay so i want to see the count of business function uh, as per the region okay this is this will be my uh, report so i have three regions that is us emia apac so i'm getting the count but uh, this count is like consist of do some duplicates so I'll show you in this video itself in the later part. Okay. Uh, so uh, what uh, this drill through using navigation action do does? It will uh, navigate. It will drill through like uh, by, uh, sheet by sheet. Okay. So if you want to if you want to go from sheet one to sheet two, sheet two to sheet three, sheet three to sheet four, and so on, then uh, at this point like uh, this will helpful to you. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. And what URL action does, like what uh, uh, drill through using URL does, we need to create one report here and another report to like another report. So it will take uh, that URL in this uh, in this report. So how that URL uh, works? So here uh, I'll create one more sheet. That is sheet 2. You can uh, rename the sheet 1, sheet 2. Okay. As per your requirement. So here, here I'll choose um, employee ID. I'll take this table and I'll take this employee ID function, business, uh, business function just to check whether I'm getting the correct one or not. Okay. These business function and region I'm adding just to check. Okay. So this is sheet 2. Uh, I'll create one more sheet uh, that's gonna be sheet 3 and here I'm taking this table and here I'll select this employee ID and employee name okay so uh, what uh, I'm going to do here suppose I got a count uh, this development 1 okay I'll click here I'll navigate to this sheet 2 I'll get this employee ID of that person I'll click when I click here on the employee ID I'll get the name of that uh, person okay here so this is how it works navigation action okay so before that uh, I need to create a, like uh, I need to create a parameters the same way uh, we have created in uh, this URL action okay so here uh, in the sheet 2 like i'm passing from i'm going from sheet 1 to sheet 2 so i have to create a parameters in sheet 2 if i am uh, going from sheet 2 to sheet 3 then i have to create a parameter uh, in sheet 3 itself for sheet 2 okay so i'll create a parameter in sheet 2 so i'll create a business business function create I need not to pass the control okay while creating a parameters I'll just call uh, these parameters in filter section okay so I'll create one more parameter because in sheet 1 I'm having two uh, this uh, columns that is business function and region so I'll create the same parameter over here region create and I'll go to this filter section 
I'll create business function and I'll pass that parameter over here by selecting this custom filter use parameter yes definitely and sorry yeah business function and apply okay same way same way sorry I'll create one more uh, this filter that is region so in region same way I'll select custom filter use parameter sure region apply okay so this is for sheet 1 okay if I'm coming from sheet 1 to sheet 2 then I need to create a parameter over here now from sheet 2 to sheet 3 I need to create a parameter where in the sheet 3 okay so here I'll create one more parameter that's gonna be employee ID an employee ID in this case in uh, our data we are having a uh, string as well as uh, digits also number also so I'll consider a data type will be string okay create over here and you will get uh, whatever the parameters you are creating you will get uh, all the parameters in every sheet okay so don't worry so here I'll go to filter I'll choose this employee ID and custom filter use parameter yes employee id apply okay so now i have created parameters in both the sheets and i pass those parameters in the filter okay so now i'm now uh, like i'll be creating a action okay so here um yeah I can give uh, you can give whatever name you want okay I'll keep it as action one okay so here it is asking for uh, selecting uh, I'm getting I'm having these two types of activations so I, uh, I'll explain what is menu action and select so first of all I'll go with menu option okay so I'll choose this navigation action menu option is like you will get a menu like a uh, thing okay whenever you like uh, I, if i want to check the uh, uh, data for six count if i click here i'll get one drop down type thing uh, then i'll click on that uh, drop down then it will go to sheet 2 but in select uh, activation i will not get any drop down like thing i'll just click here and it will take me to sheet 2 okay uh, so yeah my target sheet will be sheet 2 and I need to select the parameters I need to add the parameters here what are the parameters we are having in sheet 2 we are having two parameters okay that is business function and I'll pass and this is asking for set parameter value from which sheet from sheet 1 okay business function add so i have created two parameters one is business function and another is region in sheet 2 okay so i'll go and select region as well region add and i'll save it okay so i have cre created one action in sheet 1 for sheet 2 okay don't get confused guys if you are like uh, getting confused then uh, pause this video and then you can try by yourself so it is for sheet going from uh, navigation uh, navigating from sheet 1 to sheet 2 now I need to like uh, create action over sheet 2 as well because I need to navigate from sheet 2 to sheet 3 okay so I'll create one uh, sorry I'll create one action over here also and you can uh, give any name you want your business want okay so i'll select here select okay not menu option i'll show you the difference okay and you can also check by yourself as well so here i'll select this navigation action and in the coming videos i'll create a one video for filter action as well though it is simple but still i'll create a one video for this filter action and uh, it will work on this uh, uh, on particular one sheet itself okay okay so if you are, if I am having n numbers of visual 
in particular in one sheet then it will work then uh, filter action will work okay so yeah i'll choose navigation action my target sheet will be this time sheet 3 okay and in sheet 3 i have created one parameter remember that is employee id okay i'll pass here employee id and add i'll save it okay now let's check whether it is working or not so here i have created menu or uh, this select menu right if i want to check see this is a select menu and our action one is coming here if i click here then it will take me to sheet 2 see i'm getting the one count okay and see i'm checking for development okay business function name is development and eme account that is one so i'll show you again i'm getting this employee id business function is development region is emia if i click here so here i have chosen this select menu so it will not give me any uh, this drop down like thing it will directly go to sheet 3 now i got this id c this is the same id but here i was not getting any name so in this sheet i got that employee name okay so like this it works i hope everything is clear if you have any doubt and question please uh, let me know in the comment section i'll try to solve it okay but if i uh, if i want to check here for this but here i am getting the only four counts why because this data consists of duplicates okay so here if i want to check for this see same the same id and the employee name is this okay so i'll show you here i'm getting six but uh, in sheet two i'm getting only four records why okay so uh, i'll add employee id over here just to show you that it, this data consists of some duplicates okay so i was getting i'll show you again in uh, business function name corporate i'm getting six count for emia okay but actual values are only four distinct values are only four distinct records are only four but i'm getting here six so i'll show you that uh, this data consists of duplicates so i'll take this employee id here and i'll focus only on corporate i'll show you hmm. see uh, corporate emia so this id consists of uh, duplicates value okay twice it is we are having this uh, id twice so i'll consider it as one two three and four fine guys so these are the duplicate data where we are getting one that is a distinct count but where we are getting more than one it consists of duplicates so like this uh, now our report is working fine navigation action is working fine so i'll go again and i'll uh, i'll remove this so guys i hope you have understood this okay so here why it is showing corporate yeah in filter section i need to disable it fine and now guys i will uh, publish this dashboard okay so uh, first of all i need to give uh, some name so just i'll add uh, nav action okay so it is navigation action so now i will copy it share publish i'll publish with the same name and let's check option okay i'm not going to like uh, share with anyone else so it's okay now i'll publish let's see uh, whether it is working or not and uh, this uh, window is like if you want to share with someone then uh, uh, whether a user or a group okay 
you can add their email and you can share with them this uh, dashboard okay so let's check if I uh, click here and you're yeah, fine I'm getting this if I click here I'm going to sheet 3 and I got the same name correct so guys it is working fine so uh, yeah thank you for watching and if you have any doubt then please let me know so thank you have a great day